Here at the launch of the JP Morgan Asset Management Sevens, very exciting time for the sport. Yeah, I mean, um, this is massive. This is massive for the game. Um, I think not just Sevens, but for uh, English rugby in general. I mean, to get boys on the stage like this and, and playing against each other, and uh, especially in the pre-season period, it's going to be um, it's very exciting. Yeah. I mean, as someone who is who is always specialised in Sevens, you must have been hoping that something like this had been around for a while. Yeah, definitely. I think it would have been um, ideal if it was here, sort of maybe three years ago, especially when Sevens was at, at its best. We were in Hong Kong, Dubai. I think we were runners up in Commonwealth Games. So, I mean, um, it would have been probably better for it to be there rather than now where, at the moment, the Sevens team is not, you know, I think they finished fifth in the World Series, which is not great, especially as a country like us who are very proud of our Sevens, very proud of our 15 side game. And, uh, yeah, but it's, you know, better late than never. In terms of sort of getting your, your maybe your average average punter in through the door, Sevens, it's, it's exciting, it's, it's quick, people know what's going on, it's being covered on ESPN, I mean, that's that's a really big thing as well. This whole tournament is, is huge, especially with the, the big sponsor we've got as well. You know, the financial backing is very important and, and this tournament's definitely got that and it's going to be, it's, it's great, it's great for all the players involved, it's great for the country, it's great for the sport and it's going to be um, you know, it's great for the fans as well. You know, the rugby, rugby Sevens across the world is a massive party atmosphere, you just have to look at the likes of the Twickenham Sevens this year and, and Hong Kong and Dubai, they're all massive tournaments and everyone enjoys themselves and, and hopefully this will be the same. It could be taken on to a next level by being in the 2016 Olympics as well. It's obviously huge for the sport and this could be a major stepping stone towards that. Yeah, definitely, especially for our, our as a country, our chances in that tournament, you know, if we get these boys coming through playing this game, you know, regularly, you know, playing against some of the better players in the, in the country, you know, it's going to do wonders for our game. Central contracts is going to be something that's going to have to talk about. You know, if we want to win the Commonwealth Games, if we want to win the Olympics in 2016, you know, it's something that's got to be taken seriously. And, you know, this is a massive step of stone towards that. And yourself, obviously, Wasps and, and England at 15, but also England uh, England at sevens. I mean, in terms of your future, you are fully committed to, to 15s, presumably, but also want to play for England at, at sevens as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to play for England, full stop. And uh, whether it be in sevens or 15s, you know, it's something that is, you know, it's a great honour to do and um, I've obviously done that in the past and would like to do it again um, maybe the 15s is more important to me at the moment but um, if the sevens came knocking especially for the Commonwealth Games and uh, big tournaments like Hong Kong and Dubai I'd love to do it in terms of what's sort of new season coming up I mean some some high profile departures in the form of Danny Cipriani Paul Saki another another winger like yourself I mean you're in the Heineken Cup what are the uh, what are the aims for the season I mean personally for me I mean I'm very excited about this season it's um I'm more excited about this season than I was last year. There's a lot of new boys that came in last year and a lot of boys that left. We've only had a couple of you know, big players leaving and, and I think those players are going to be sort of, we, we, we'll definitely get enough boys in to, who will cover them. And, you know, it's exciting times, obviously, in the Heineken Cup. We were in there last year and it's, um, it's very important for the club to be in that. And uh, we want to improve on our league position as well. Hopefully we want to win, we want to win the league, obviously. But um, it's all about, you know, game one first. I think that's Harlequins. At the, at the double header and so it's um yeah just take it as it comes obviously we wanted to do well last year we didn't do as well as we hoped but um you know it was it was down to us where we finished you know we could have been in the top four we let ourselves slip a little bit we know that and i think um we'll definitely make up for that this, that, that this year so um it's all to play for again and um you know here comes the start of another long season looking forward not to have to answer questions about a certain d cipriani for the rest of the season as, <laughs> that, as always. that'd be pretty nice yeah i mean um I wish him all the best for the future in Australia, but um, it'd be nice to sort of just have a, a, a day free zone. <laughs>